I want to talk about a super cool, super simple algorithm called power iteration. Um, given in a matrix A that lives in Rm by Rm, and we're going to assume it has an eigenvalue, um, at least you know, an, uh, one eigenvalue, I'm going to ask for the largest eigenvalue associated with that matrix and also the largest, the eigenvector corresponding to that. So how are we going to do this? Well, it's going to be absurdly simple. Let's just do this. Um, let's take, you know, for k equals 1 to, I don't know, say 1,000. All right. Let's take a random vector, v0. It's a random vector that lives in Rm. And we're going to do the following. W is equal to A times V. And we're going to put this subscript K up here. Um, and that's going to be at every iteration, this V will change. We're going to then take, um, let me take a look at my notes. And we're going to take V is equal to W divided by the norm of W. That's the next one. And then we're going to find an approximation for lambda. Let's say lambda k plus 1. And that's going to equal to our friend the Rayleigh quotient. Remember, given an eigenvector and we're trying to find it, we can get an eigenvalue simply by taking that eigenvector, taking its transpose, multiplying by a times v to the k plus 1. These are just subscripts. They're not powers. And on the bottom, we're also going to take vk plus 1 transpose times vk plus 1. This will indeed yield a scalar. And we're going to just put in parentheses, this is Rayleigh quotient. Great. Now I have my new guess for lambda and my new guess for v. And we're going to continue this over and over and over and over. Um, and let's say we're going to stop when lambda k plus 1 and v k plus 1 no longer change. In code, you can keep like a delta between the previous guess and my current guess and see how much it's changing. This is basically just the basics of it. When we're done, when it's no longer changing, we're going to go ahead and say, OK, have found lambda and v that are the largest eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector.